Last 12 off the leader, coming up before the home turn, Funa Laguna, travelling OK, leads a length and a half, a lead scope being niggled at second, a length away, looking ahead, who's starting to work home gamely now, goes into third place before the corner, strike two has always been out wide, Miss Cube coming through in the centre, and then Fortune Smiles taken wide, Barrett and Wombie's legacy in the straight, they got 300 to go, looking ahead, is quickly racing up on the outside with the lead scope in the centre, Funa Laguna was beaten off, running on his strike two, but it's looking ahead, drawing to the front, favourite looking OK, it's clear now, going into second place, strike two, battling on a lead scope and Barrett is late, but looking ahead, stretching out nicely, wins by two and a quarter, second strike two, three quarters away, third was Barrett, fourth in a lead scope, just in front of the fast finishing fancy feet. Michael, uh, your better half uh, involved with uh, looking ahead and it's certainly a great start to the career of this filly. Yeah, I'm just a hanger on. Um, nice filly, um, Brett Her, the, the mare, looks like being a really nice brood mare. Uh, I've actually got its half sister going to the Magic Million sales next week, so that was the main reason for starting it today. Um, we don't really do much with them early, and um, if we hadn't had this, the, this half sister going to the sales, she probably just would have gone to the paddock after a trial because we we like this one. The half sister by Dana Singer. Yeah, so she's a three quarter due diligence too. So um, good opportunity, and you know, I lovely West Speed filly. This this West Speed incentive is just just a wonderful thing, especially with the the, the bubble bonus that this filly's sort of paid up for now. So. I think anyone going to the sales next week, you, you want to get into that West Speed stuff. Yeah, exactly, and uh, certainly a great promotion for the uh, close relation at the Magic Million sales, which gets underway next uh, week on the 14th. Uh, Paul Harvey had this filly in a beautiful position. She was uh, always ready to strike. Yeah, the Pontiff does what the Pontiff does, so you just let him do his stuff. He was, you know, textbook ride, wasn't it? What to like out of the trial? Yeah, it's, she was still quite green, and um, she didn't get knocked around, but it was it was encouraging when you saw the horse that um, she beat in the trial come out and win quite well on Wednesday, and uh, this filly's bred to run 10, 12 furlong, so whatever she's doing now is just a bonus, because um, we bred her specifically in mind as being an Oaks-type filly, you know, she's, she's a real staying bred type of horse. And just having a look at it too, uh, just on looks alone, very, very leggy, and still uh, a lot of lot of growing to do. Yeah, a lot of upside, big, big scopey filly. So you can only imagine that time will um, benefit her. But Kelly's done a great job with her. Um, so you know, bit of a highly sort of strung filly. Kelly's Kelly's working on getting her settled, and um, full credit to Kel. Pity she wasn't here today. Big question mark. Where, where to now? Is one race start enough? I know we've got big two-year-old races, but if you've bred her for a three-year-old uh, year, it's probably hard to keep her in work. Yeah, I, I, look, I, I'll have to talk to Mark and Kelly because they own half of it as well. So my, my initial thing was we were going to give her the start and put her out um, and, and sort of maybe head to the spring with her. You know, like I, we, we rate her fairly highly. So, you know, she might be a Victorian Oaks filly, this filly. So, um, but if... We haven't seen a really smart two-year-old, really, other than maybe her come out so far this season. So we might play it by ear, and if, if, if nothing else really emerges that looks like a superstar, we'll, we, might, we might sort of progress to something like the Karakata. Congratulations on the win. Cheers, mate. Michael Grant and uh, the Consolidator filly looking ahead successful as favourite taking up the West Bead plate.